In Stereo D Lab, I've completed three more of the audio test centers. Serial numbers one and two have already sold. This is three, four, and five. I'm only going to offer two of these for sale because I need to keep one to model future builds after. You can see these on my website. I'm going to cut to a demo of how to operate these units. If you want them, get on dlabelectronics.com and contact me. About 15 years ago, I made what was called the audio test centers. They were a stereo or mono dummy load system for testing your amplifiers. So I went back and said, what was the most popular model? And that was the Minoro audio test set, but it only had four and eight ohm. So I have redesigned the unit. Let me close up and I'll show you what it does. So here is the new ATC model two. We'll pan over here, you can see how she's built. It's got 100 watt non-inductive resistors. There's also a 100 watt L pad and a watt meter. So the ATC2 has some pretty unique features. Number one, it is a standalone dummy load for testing your amps. So you have inputs on either banana jack or quarter inch. Currently, I'm in the four ohm dummy load position. You can see that on the meter. Then we have eight, and we have 16 ohm. Then when you go to variable, this is only for eight ohms, you can feed in an amp and you can adjust the power output to an external speaker. So you could play it, say, at 15 watts, but listen to it at 5. This L-pad in here acts as an absorber. So this is a passive type watt meter. It does not need power to operate. This switch here, 4 and 8, is for calibration of that meter. So I only have it for the 4 and 8 ohm positions. 16 will still read but it's not going to be calibrated. So here's a quick demonstration. We're going to use one of my amplifiers. We're going to drive the ATC. So this is the input to the dummy load. This is the output going to an external speaker, right? So right now I'll turn up the volume and you will see the watt meter dancing around to the music. Okay. So if you were burning in an amp, this is how you'd operate the ATC. So in this case, I'm at eight ohm, not four, but if I went to eight, it does the same thing, okay? And of course, 16. But when you go to the eight ohm variable, now you're gonna hear this amp playing. But it's still acting as a dummy load. Now your monitor speaker can run at a much lower volume while you're testing that amp. Or you bring her up. Now you'll see that the watt meter is not varying when I'm turning the variable control. That's because the internal dummy load resistors are absorbing that power. This is simply panning power out to your external speaker. It's a pretty cool design. And if you get tired of listening to it, just flip back to the internal dummy loads, whether it be 4 or 8 ohm. So there it is, the newly redesigned ATC Model 2. So at this time, I only have one of these units that's ready to go. Parts are on order to build others, but it is a very time-consuming and expensive process. I'll keep you posted.